intrigued by your book, We Demand a Suffrage Road Trip. It takes all sorts of twists and turns. Uh, but before we get into the details of your book, I would really like to know what got you started in writing. Well, I got interested in suffrage history by uh, reading some papers that my great-grandmother, who was a suffrage leader in Maine, had left behind. Her name was Florence Brooks Whitehouse. And uh, I, I was in my early 40s. I knew almost nothing about her. And all of a sudden, I was plunged into this world of, of women doing amazing things that I that knew nothing about. And so I ended up doing a lot of research on her. And she was uh, ended up being my first book. It, uh, it's called Voting Down the Rose, Florence Brooks Whitehouse and Maine's Fight for Women's Suffrage. And, but in the course of doing the research for that book, I, I found out about uh, this road trip that happened in 1915. And I I always thought that must have been one heck of a trip across the country from San Francisco to D.C. in 1915. And uh, I always thought if I ever finish my first book, <laughs> I'll, um, I'll re I'd like to retrace their route and just learn more about what it was like for them. And so that finally uh, I did finish the, other, the first book in 2014 and, and uh, started the road trip myself in 2015. <music> 